So how have you all been? I'm fine. Finally, just about getting over my cold. I've had it for like well over two weeks now and it went away but then it came back with aggression all in my nose and I'm still pretty unpleasant up there but I'm getting over it. So I went out yesterday with my mum and my sister and my sister's baby who I haven't really shown you on camera yet but I will do sometime soon because he's spending Christmas with us so if all else fails on Christmas day you will just see footage of him not that I expect you to watch a video of me on Christmas Day, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. You can catch up with it later on. Because I have got a subscriber, a new subscriber, so thank you for subscribing to me, new subscriber, <laughs> who I, whose name I don't know. Um, so, back to what I was talking about, I went out shopping with my mum and my sister and Leo but I hadn't counted on how freaking cold it was so I bailed pretty quickly and I just spent an hour in Starbucks in Borders for the last ever time because as of now it is gone forever for good. So it was kind of depressing seeing all the shelves completely empty. And I have to say, the charm of it with all the shelves stripped bare was lost. So I'm sort of glad to see it go in a way because I've seen it sort of naked now and I don't think I could ever look at it the same again. <laughs> Speaking of naked... <laughs> so I was in Starbucks for an hour and I'm not a book person so I read magazines instead and I like to save my magazines up rather than reading them all in one go. So I'm still la glancing at like a one month old issue of Entertainment Weekly with Paranormal Activity on the cover. And uh, another thing I got to read, um, and I'll tell you why I bought it in a second, was I'm actually really nervous to say this, but I, I don't know why. Because, you know, I'm out now. So, you know, I got Gay Times to read. And it was weird. I didn't know, because I was by myself, and I didn't know how to feel sort of reading it in public. It's, it's a strange, it's a very odd magazine, that one that I don't think I'll be getting again. But I got it on this occasion because it had some great interviews in it with um, George Takei and um, the lead actor from Twilight. Is it Stephen? No, not Twilight. God, no. Um, True Blood, Stephen Moyer, and it had a feature on Glee as well, so I thought, well, if there's any time I should ever get it, it's now, you know, rather than this month, when they've got, like, 17,000 naked celebrities in it, you know, I can, it's nice, but I, you know, I don't really need that in my house um, to read or look at. 
you know, that's nice on the internet to look at. Um, it's nice to have something to read. I like to read informative things. The rest of it is pretty dire. Um, but the interviews were really good. But yeah, I didn't know how to feel. You know, embarrassed or ashamed or nervous. And in my head, I felt like it was attracting attention to myself. Even though, you know, there were loads of people in there and I was sat in a corner, no one would be paying attention to me. So it was all just in my head. So, but I couldn't shake off that feeling. Um, so it's weird. You know, I've obviously still got some major hang-ups. Um, and I've obviously still got some major socialising issues. Because, you know, I was presented with a situation over the past two weeks where I realised how few friends I have. If you don't count family or family related, I have one. Yeah, I hope not sporadically. <laughs>